Oh, hey, it's Rob. Uh, all the mom stuff going on. Uh, once in a while, there are surprises. So uh, there were a couple of safe deposit box keys in the in the fire safe. And mom had talked about making sure to get the keys returned because she had closed the boxes uh, some time ago. Uh, but the keys needed to be returned for a deposit. So um, I had gone down to the bank to return the keys and they were like, no, your mom closed these a long time ago. Um, these aren't the keys. So they're like, yeah, do you want to keep them? I'm like, yeah, okay. I suppose I should, I should probably hold on to them just in case they're for somewhere else. Well, lo and behold, yesterday, uh, got this in the mail for a uh, new lease. For another year on uh, safe deposit box keys from a different bank. So, uh, sure enough, I look and it is uh, well. It's it's Wells Fargo. Uh, so we're gonna head down there today and open up a safe deposit box that's most likely empty, <laughs> but just to to close it out so that we're not uh, paying for you know eternal rent on safe deposit box. Now there is one more key. Um, so like this is the, the Wells Fargo one but then there's another one from a bank called Northern National Bank which no longer exists uh, Northern National went through sales and eventually became Norwest which eventually became Wells Fargo but um, I do not know that the safe deposit box is any even exists anymore so I figure I'll ask them when I'm down there. Um, the likelihood that it's an existing safe deposit box is, I'd say, pretty much nil. But I'll bring them along just in case. Uh, I've also got, you know, the death certificate letter, power of attorney, and all that stuff because I'm sure I'm going to need it. It's, you know, legal and financial stuff. So uh, I guess I'll talk about that when I get back. You know, it's probably nothing. But it might be interesting stuff in there. There might be some something historic or nothing. I don't know. It's a mystery. It's a very tiny mystery. Well, that turned out to be something of a bust. Uh, in order to gain access to the uh, um, to the safe deposit box, we need to go through a, a whole process. So. Um, right now I, we're, I've got an appointment for next week. They're going to go in, uh, I need to find paperwork the, that says that I am the executor. That's all signed and everything. It's, uh, it's all weird. Um, but anyway, we'll, we'll pick it up then. <laughs> oh, they had no idea about the, uh, the Northern National Bank key. Uh, apparently they don't transfer keys or something. I, I don't know. It seems weird, but who the hell knows? All right. Talk to you guys later. Okay. A little extra stuff. I know that that was anticlimactic and short. So uh, figured I'd show you some of the other things that I found while digging through stuff. Um, none of these are of any great value. Just kind of interesting. I thought this was kind of cool. This is uh, some scotch cellophane tape. And if I open it up, that is indeed what this is. This is some old, old cellophane tape. I am not entirely sure what I'm going to do with that. There's this, which is slightly less old, and it's electrical tape. Um, I like the packaging. They haven't done that for a long time. I uh, found some toys. There's this uh, international paper wooden truck that's, I don't know, actually kind of cool. Um, there's these three things up here, three holes, which I think were originally, I don't know, because there's the driver that kind of sits in a, eh, sits in his own little hole there. I don't know if the others, but then there's this tin, which has dolls, um, a Barbie that's got her hair, I think, 
burned off. Uh, so she's wearing this little mop top thing um, and a wig, just in case. No, that, actually, that's a. Oh, it's a doll head. Good, good doll head. That's what we need. Um, cello, violin. Not sure. Uh, there is this wooden train track stuff. It makes a circle with the little choo-choo uh, train pieces. You know, there's multiple of them in here. It seems to be more like a little naked doll. Uh, more like a Christmas tree thing. I don't know. Just some interesting bits and bobs. Um, I just weird little things. Um, uh, just finished up loading the second trailer load, and it's going to be the last trailer load for a while. Uh, Daryl needs to get the trailer back, um, but it is probably half um, recycling. There's uh, the other part of it is trash that's burnable versus trash that is non-burnable. That's one of the ways they separate here. And then an old TV. Uh, there's more stuff that I could put on it, but I'm just, I am done for the day. Um, I got to prepare stuff for tomorrow and, and I'm going to be gone for a few days. So I'm heading back down to the cities. Actually, by the time you see this, I will probably be there for another day or two. Uh, which is why I'm trying to get this out now. <sighs> Slowly making progress. I got the refrigerator in the garage, the one that's not working. At least all the stuff out of it. I haven't gotten it cleaned out. Uh, that's probably going to have to wait until spring when I can get a hose and just hose the whole thing out because it's pretty gross. Uh, and I got a little bit of the stuff in the garage dealt with. Um, well, dealt with in bagged up and put on the trailer to be disposed of. Uh, some stuff from the shed I was able to get out. Uh, not a lot. Stuff in the shed is probably, I'm just going to have to get a dumpster and do a big, big old dunk because a lot of it is just not any good anymore. You know, it's like mom kept a chair out there. And it's like when you keep a chair outside in a shed for 30 years, animals get into it. I don't think that chair is going to be any good anymore. Uh, it looked pretty sad when I looked at it yesterday, but I haven't really gotten into it. Uh, I don't know. There are some things out there that I'm going to want to keep, but I'm going to need my own trailer for that. So uh, that means I'm going to have to put the trailer hitch on, yada yada. I don't know. Brain is pretty broken, but I'm still making progress here and there. It's not great. Oh, the range is fixed, by the way. Uh, anticlimactic. Uh, Blake got here, you know, got the new controller ordered. Turned out to be black instead of white. I think it looks cool. Um, put it in. Oven works. We're all good to go. Anticlimactic. All right. 